Hi everybody and welcome back to Tales of Wanderlust. I'm Cass, this is Napoleon, and today we're gonna show you how to order packages when you are living on the road. So if you wanna learn how to use Amazon lockers, stay tuned. All right, this might be an odd way of laying down and using the laptop, but for some reason I really enjoy laying on my stomach and I find it a lot more comfortable than camping chairs. It also, for some reason, is a Napoleon trap. Every single time I lay down on my stomach, he immediately comes over and I lose all use of my right arm. So we're gonna try to order something off Amazon with my left hand, since I'm right-handed. We're gonna see how this goes, if I can even open the laptop. So in order, it needs my right hand fingerprint, so. There we go. The things we do for our animals. So what am I looking to order from Amazon? The front jack has a foot that is on it. When I upgraded to the Basecamp X, they give you a long foot, which is about six to eight inches, and it's one solid metal piece. I find every time I move the RV, I take that off so I don't have to worry about it hitting the ground as I pull out. It became a pain after a while. So I updated that to what's called a fast away flip, which is a jack foot that as you're cranking up the jack, it will actually go alongside the A-frame. It reduces the number of times you have to crank the manual jack, which was really nice. But I have found that the fast away flip is nowhere near as stable as one of these solid piece metal foots. So I'm replacing the fast away flip and I'm going back to the solid metal piece. I had given mine away because I didn't think I would ever need it again. So I need to order a new one. So all I do to have it shipped to a locker is just log into Amazon and search for the product like you normally would. Once you get the product, you just add it to your cart. And you will notice here that if you scroll down, there is a new and used price. That is how you can buy things from the Amazon warehouse. I usually do that if I have the ability to wait long enough for it. It's a great way to save some money. But for this one, it's only about a 50 cent to a dollar savings. And it comes in several days later. I don't plan on being in this boondocking spot for more than a couple days. So I do need it to be here on Wednesday. So I'm gonna buy the brand new item on this one. And then all you do is when you proceed to the checkout cart, you're going to update your shipping address. It's going to default to your normal everyday shipping address. And then right below that address in bold, you'll see or pick up from an Amazon locker. If you click on the locations near you, it's going to show you locations near your actual address. But all you would do is just type in the zip code and it will give you the local lockers. The nice thing when you're traveling to an area you don't know is it will put a pin in the rough area of where that zip code is, and you can see the proximity of where the lockers are located. I also look at the hours of operation. So you'll see that some of these are 24 hours, some of them don't have public access, and then some of them actually have limited hours of operations. So depending on what works for you is what you can select. I like the 24 hour ones. A lot of times they're also outside, so you can just drive up, grab the package, and leave. So we're gonna ship to the Circle K. I need to get gas anyway, so that's perfect. And then you just click submit order and you are done. So it's only a couple extra steps to have something shipped to a locker versus to your regular household. You also can pick a locker on your app. I just find it easier to look at the map on the bigger screen. So the next step is once this arrives, I will get an email and a text message and it'll tell me that my package is here and it will give me the six digit code to actually pick it up. So in a couple days, we'll go and get that jackfoot. Are you ready to go be gay? All right, we have received the text message that the Amazon package is ready and at the locker. So we're gonna head out. It's about a 15 minute drive to go pick it up. That is one thing about boondocking in the middle of nowhere. Sometimes it is a little bit of a drive into town. So let's go pick it up and I'll show you how to get a package out of a locker. Going in. Oh boy. All right, the one thing that's a little bit of a pain is the text message that you receive from Amazon. It gives you your code, but it doesn't tell you where the locker is. I don't always remember where they are since they're always in different locations. So you have to go back into the app. You click on your order. 
and then it will tell you in the order details which locker you shipped it to. So I just copy the address off there and paste it into Google Maps. There, and now I can finally start, get my directions, and we can hit the road and get over there. Now one of the reasons I picked a gas station for the locker is usually those are outside. They are sometimes inside, but with COVID, I'm trying to stay outside as much as possible. So this was a good way to do it. When you pull into one of the gas stations, I always drive around to see if I can find them. Sometimes they're orange, sometimes they're black. So you just have to kind of look around. If they're not outside, then just head inside the store and they're usually bright orange inside the store so that you can find them easier. Thankfully, that was an easy one to find. So let's go get our package. Now the Amazon pickup itself is really easy. All you do is you just walk right up to the locker, the six digit code that they gave you on your text message or email, you just plug it right into the screen and then the door will pop open. Grab your package out of it, close the door back up and you are done and ready to go. So the Amazon lockers are my preferred way of getting packages on the road. But that means that you have to buy everything from Amazon. Not everything is available on Amazon. The other restriction is not everything from Amazon fits in one of these lockers. You might also run into a situation where the locker is completely full. So it will tell you you need to pick a different pickup location or you'll check back in a day or two to see if a spot has opened up. So it's not 100% guaranteed, but it definitely is a very easy way to get packages while on the road and while traveling. I have done this actually before RV life as well. I was in New Jersey about to board a plane on my way to Iceland with a friend and I realized I forgot one of those little converters for the electrical outlets. I had a couple days between when I arrived in New Jersey and where I was driving from. So I went on Amazon, I ordered the package, had it shipped right outside the airport and I picked it up right before I got on my plane. So there's a lot of different uses for the Amazon lockers. The other restriction is they're really only available in major cities. So right now we're near Phoenix. I've had them in Albuquerque, Vegas, Denver, different areas like that. But if you're in a small town, you may not have a locker. In the next video, I'm going to order a dog bed for Jasper which it is off Amazon, but is one of those packages that is just too large for the locker. Once Monday rolls around, I need to start calling around to some mail service places, see if I can get the package shipped in there, and we'll go through that in the next video. Hopefully I'm able to get one because Jasper is missing his dog bed and he is sick of laying on the ground. All right, now that we're back from the lock box, let's see if this is actually the right size. I think that is gonna work just perfect. So that's it, that's how easy it is to get Amazon packages on the road. If you have any questions, comment below. Otherwise, we'll see you next week for the dog bed. I would say welcome back everybody, but I have just recorded this segment four times and I forgot to turn the record feature on every single time. So this is now my fifth time recording this.